Hello everyone, my name is Maxim. I work for Endurance Lasers. A few days ago I watched uh, Queen's Gambit. New, well, was the new movie for me. And the key plot of that uh, series is about uh, playing chess and I decided to learn to play chess myself. But I don't have them. So uh, I decided to make them myself. They're why? So I'm going to make them out of 2mm transparent acrylic. So on one side it will be fully transparent figures and on the other side we'll have painted, we'll paint them into black. I found in internet uh, these models, so everything's here, so put them close to each other to save material and uh, yeah, we have 19, uh, seven, oh no no, we have 17 figures so we have 16 and which are in the game and one is uh, extra extra queen so they look like this they will be laser cut out of like i said 2 mm acrylic should should work and should look pretty good at the end okay and we made a chessboard the chessboard A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and one from one to eight. We'll do it out of two millimeter acrylic as well. So it's quite light and very easy to cut with CO2 laser, as you know. And so we'll, we'll be laser engraved. And for some um, squares will use fill so we'll fill inside square so that you'll be able to define where you have black or white in our case it will be a, like, white uh, and transparent acrylic and figures will be a, like transparent and black okay, the same parameters and the speed we set up maximum I'll, 10,000 millimeters per minute so the maximum we can do on our LE5040 engraving plotter the power is 100% uh, yeah so we are measuring our acrylic 2 millimeter so you can see it next we need to prepare a vector image for every single figure Everything is ready. We have an air compressor, so we use an air assist. We have film extractor because ac acrylic stinks. So we chill down the laser tube. So our working temperature, well, the good working temperature for CO2 laser is uh, 20 Celsius. So this is our DIY uh, cooling system. Uh, with two tech coolers on each side. So we have four tech coolers and uh, we have thermometers and we are measuring temperature of the water yeah, and uh, temperature of the water on the end of the laser tube. So the temperature is good, it's 17, it's even less than is required. So now we can, we can start. Once again, the power parameter is 380 uh, millimeters per minute uh, for cutting and power is 100%. So we have 40 watt CO2 tube, so it's 40, 40 watt power output. And you see, it looks pretty good. The good thing about this laser is that uh, it's invisible light, but also we suggest you to operate in the with uh, wearing protective goggles and uh, the laser is uh, in our DIY laser box uh, laser enclosure okay so you see that it's working so we're making our chessboard 
Looks impressive, isn't it? The chessboard is ready. Uh, that's very hard. To... Yeah, you see, it's like dust. Well, we just need to clean it up a little bit. We need to clean it up very accurately. I use toothbrush for that with the soap. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Looks awesome. I really like it. So you can see white and transparent. So uh, yeah, here's the result. Hope that you enjoy it. Please visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. And if you have questions, email to George directly. GF at endurancerobots.com is George's uh, email, our CEO and the founder. So hope that you enjoy it, play chess and um, have fun with endurance laser kit upgrade. Bye bye.